to start things out here in the top half of the inning. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen Leading working the here. Both the lefty and Touchdown. a right-hander have stood Money. up. Tim well, Money is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Come on, big e, stay hot up there. Hey, keep it going. Stay hot, huh? one count. Here it is. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And he is in there to start the sixth. It's a leadoff double. Well, he's definitely got everybody's attention. That base hit right there extends his streak to 13 games. That's almost two weeks of being in the headlines and swinging the bat pretty good. Center fielder number six. Starling. And the runner's breaking for third. Now he'll step off. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Hey, come on, big guy. Get your pitch. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Grichik giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Digging in and looking for more. Eduardo Nunez trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander's up and warming. Ready with two balls and a strike. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. In the on deck circle is Manny Machado. He'll bat next. set here's the 3 1 this is hit high in the air out toward left center Grichik has a beat on it makes the catch but the runner from third breaks for home and he is going to score here on the sacrifice fly as they move in Juan Nicasio enters to do the now pitching in the, the bottom of the sixth. Number 12. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is on. With the Gateway Arch welcoming us in the background to look at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates. At the plate, Tim Money. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. First pitch on its way. 
Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Harold Reynolds, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Matt, I was on a number of losing teams, and this is the game you look for. We got the ace going, finally. It's the day we're going to win a game. And when he throws, and you know you're struggling, you got to win that game for him. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the... Ready for another chance? Tim Money. He bats Rockstar. here as the reigning rookie Tim of the month Money. in the National League. Into the windup and the pitch. And he commits to the pitch inside and he definitely went around. That's strike one. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So, with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one more batter. Well, that base hit right there sends his streak to 14 games. That's two weeks going to the ballpark saying, I'm feeling good. I'm going to get a hit tonight. That's the mindset you want to be in. Now batting, catcher. Reed and they pitch Come out here but nothing's happening ball two set and the two and one pitch pitch is a cold strike the throw he's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down it was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Runners on his way to third. Hit on the ground out to short. To his right, Caballero, and the stolen base winds up as a moot point. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Jeremy Hazel Baker. Here you go, boy. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded to short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Digging in to try it again. Tim Money. He's one for two in the ball game. On its way is pitch number 75. Takes a knee-high fastball. Come on, big dog. Get your pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Hazel Baker's on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now Matt batting. Carpenter. 0 for 2 on the afternoon Matt so far. Carpenter. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether. Here's Jed Jerko now. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Hit to short. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Cards strand a couple. Our score remains two to one.
ready for another shot now. Tim Money. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and the right-hander have stood up. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Hey, like you can, like you can. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Grichik is there, one away. Here's Matt Carpenter, career line against not Daniel bad. Hudson. First not a big man. sample size, 0 for Matt 1. Carpenter, let's turn it, come on now. Two and two count, here it comes. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Digging in once again, Tim Money. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Snare is after it. He tracks it down. A nice running. Catcher Yadier Molina. And Dan, what's the plan of attack Not here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have Catcher. to go right after him. Yadier. He's pretty unlikely Molina. to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring in time this game become a lot greater. And that's through a base hit. Throw into second. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Ready once again, Jeremy Hazelbaker. His day at the plate now, hasn't Manny. amounted to Mike much, Taylor. 0 for 4, but this Jeremy. is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it. And that gets down. This is going to tie the game and maybe even win it. And to score, the runner from second. And the Cardinals are going to walk off a winner. Hey, heading into the ninth, I'm sure that the odds of them coming back to win this one had to be about slim to none. But they didn't try to get all four runs back with one swing. Afternoon baseball now on a lazy Sunday afternoon at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Alex Reyes. Digging in, Tim Money. And with numbers Short like stop. those, he's putting Tim himself in contention Money. for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. This is skied into short left center. Diaz onto the grass. And the inning is over. Hey, wait on that Down to the plate, Tim Money. Two on, Shortstop. two out for him Tim here in the third. Money. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Oh, he got out in front of a change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. 
Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. There's another swing and strike on a fastball. He's got a nice fastball working great pop on it and he's keeping it high. In the and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Let me Diaz. Here's the 0 1. Short hit hard. Oh, look at the sliding stop. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hits all they get. Coming to the plate now, Tim now Money. It's been an 0 for 2 effort Tim for him to Money. this point. Hey, like up there, kid, huh? Grounded foul off to the right side. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. And now a pitch on the way. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here comes another 0 2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the. The batter, first baseman, Matt Carpenter. Chop weakly to the left. And a rather He's easy out. first out. <laughs> Striding in once again, Tim Money. Fourth trip to the plate Pittsburgh. for him, and he's at risk of ending that Tim nice hitting streak money. that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way. Approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Get your pitch and drive it. Let's go, big dog. Your spot. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Wong. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. views you'll find in all of baseball downtown Pittsburgh and PNC Park here's Mookie Betts he enters play hitting in the 260s for the year Mookie Betts looking for the strikeout here's the one two to short money fields it cleanly throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired Red Sox go down Standing in, Tim Adding Money. Second. And with numbers nice like those, stuff. he's putting himself Tim in contention Money. for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. First offering on its way. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And that'll give the Pirates a two to nothing lead. Yeah, and there's another reason the word around the league is this guy's a bona fide rookie of the year candidate. He seems to come up big, never shying away from the moment like a lot of rookies do. It's
Cardinals. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. He was one for Batting three eight. in the ball game back catcher. on Sunday. Francisco Cervelli. The windup and the 0-1. Hit to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, that's a big hit right there. So often overlooked. But what it does, even if he doesn't get a hit here, the pitcher that is, now the pitcher's not leading off the next hit. Digging in for his second at bat, Andrew Benintendi. And we'll see what Left he fielder. can do here. Two Andrew on, two away, Benintendi. two home so far this inning. Chopped weakly to the left. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Trying to pick things up where we left now, off. Buddy. Tim Short Money. Stop. Tim Money. Into the windup and the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. So the two out hit here extends the inning for Manny Machado. So make it two hits for him now on the night as this one finds its way into center. And as we check out the Bucks' leaders in that category, you can see he currently sits in third place on the ball club in that department. Here's Manny Machado now. 0 for 1 for Manny him here in this one. Here it comes on one and one. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready on one and two. Runner goes for second. Here's Machado with a drive. Well hit to deep left field. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. He's running again. Now he'll step off. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Bucks go down quietly. And that'll bring up the power hitting middle infielder Ryan Shim. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. On the ground up the middle. Money takes it in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Xander Bogart. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. There's one. On to first. And he really paid the price at second base. Ready for another chance. Henry Owens. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Now a ball rolled softly to second. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So it's two runs. Digging in and looking for more. Tim Money. He's Don't off stop. to a fast start Jim in this one. Two for money. two, including a home run. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is foul for the first strike. Come on, let it fly. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1 to first. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another Our shot. Tim Money. Right, he homered stop. earlier and is two Tim for three to this Money. point. There we go. He's set and the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. 
Drive him in. No one better right here. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. Well, there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings, big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back a little bit and try to put that ball in play. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, he tried to put him away on two pitches low in the zone. And he just wasn't biting. Nice job of hitting. Hey, drop him in. We need you right here. All even at two and two. Here it is. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Marte rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 6-3 contest. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right there. This is his third RBI of the ball game. He's doing his part. Third baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. Oh, and they've got him picked off. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. Nobody out, runner on first. Runner! On the move again from first. Pitch outside, the throw, way late, and he's in there easily at second. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop at the plate, and he showed he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases either. To your point, Dan, he did go deep earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. Gets the sign, here comes the 2-1. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Ready on two balls and two strikes, here it comes. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Betts over to his right, one out. The throw to the plate. A tag, and he's out at the plate, a double play. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine. Now from the north shore of the Allegheny River, there's a beautiful look at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Which of these two will prevail? Next on the show, Tyler Glasnow will be on the mound for the Buckos. Harold, any thoughts? The way I see him, Matt, he's really struggled because he allows a lot of base runners, whether it's by the walk or by the hit. And when you have that much... Ready now, Eric Hosmer, one in, Batting one four. out, and one First on here in the inning. 35, Eric Hosmer. Ready on one and two. Rolled slowly to first. Bell brings it in, and he'll just step on first here to take the shooter out. And now. I, I thought long and hard about what the key was for them, and I, it comes down to one word, second, discipline. If they're disciplined at the plate, Tim if they don't run money. into outs, and if they throw to the right bases, they got a chance to win this game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he get? starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I'm going to be playing close attention to Starling Marte. He's having a solid year with runners. In
Riding in once again, Tim the Money. 0 for 1 here back. in the early going. Tim Money. First delivery to him on the way. Favorable call in there for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. And this is going to be a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Boy, that's really... First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. A hit in two tries so far. Hosmer. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Two is left. Machado. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. His career numbers against this pitcher, Jackie hitless in three at-bats. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back. As it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here, as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. And to score, the... Ready for another shot now. Leading Tim Money. And he'll step in to start things out against Money. Chris Sale. And this is fouled back and out of play. The wind up and the 0 1. Down and away, ball one. Let her rip, let her rip. That's a two ball. and one. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Ben Benintendi will get there with ease as he puts it away for out. Here's Mookie Betts. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Mookie Betts. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Drilled to the right side. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Ready once again, Tim Money. No hits in three tries so far. He struck Tim out once. Money. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball right back to the mound. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the. Coming to the plate now, Reed. Comstock. The catcher, number 17. Reed Three runs, eight Comstock. hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Going, there goes the runner, go. and that misses for ball four. Hey, as we look at the numbers, we can see that he's north of 90 pitches right now, so it's not surprising to see him maybe losing a little bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Here comes Sox manager please. John Farrell on his way now out to the mound. The and Number he's going to make a change as that'll be Tyler all for his starter, Thornburg. Chris Sale. Josh Bell the next to hit. 
He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Ready with the one and two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now at the plate, Not Travis running. Jankowski, Left 0 for 3 with a couple Travis of strikeouts for Jankowski. him to this point in the ball game. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. For the strikeout, here's the 1 2. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit, one run scores. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Man, well, that was hurt. just a good pitch. He was able to fight it off and drop it in to pick up two runs right there. Nice job of fighting the ball off and, the ball and finding a hole. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen. And